boom. Guys, keep it here with Pimpoli TV. We are back with Syed. That's how you say it, right? Syed, yes. There we go. Look, I'm getting better. I am getting better. Now, oh my God. Gonzo. First you marked him. Oh, this is the one that pissed on me this yeah. morning? <laughs> hey, y'all remember that movie Green Mile? And he was, that boy was pissed on, piss <laughs> on me. I get a water hose and spray that boy. Spray your back, you booger. Now, choosing a male. When you breed, kennel blindness is a real thing in most programs, right? Yeah. It's like somebody thinking, I got the best product on earth. It's like this. I ain't never bought the best product on earth. I don't even know if that even exists. There's some shit that works and some shit that doesn't. When you breed Gonzo, what are the top two to three things you're looking for in bettering him or yep. your program? Because I know choosing a male can be very difficult. Mm -hmm. What are you looking for? Yeah. How do you even better a dog that's so, yeah. superb? Yeah, so you said, you, you, you said something kind of blind, right? Oh, yeah. That is something we see often in a lot of breeders that they think that, hey, I got a best shit. I got a best, I got a best dog. Yeah. I got this, this, but you need to be your own best critique that what you need to do, where is the areas of opportunity. But that's like people that. having a poor judge of character. Yeah. yeah. They could tell me, he say, man, I did it. I said, you sound like a fucking idiot. Yeah. They'd be like, damn. Uh, okay, maybe that's why bad things keep happening. Yeah. Yeah, because you're stupid. Yeah. So I like to get to the point, as you know about yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. And even still, when I look at the dogs, people will hit me up many times. Hey, can I use Ego? And I'm like this. He's Easty Westy. His lips are loose. I think I could solve it with my breedings, but he's not a dog I would want 100,000 more dogs of. Yeah. So I said, no. You never breed in the ego. We're going to fix his problems. I'm going to better him. Then I'm going to move on. So how do you prevent it? Kennel blindness yeah, yeah. from getting the best of it. So with, with Gonzo, let's say, let's take him uh, as example. He's got, he's got great bone. He just got a critique uh, in February from a, 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 the VDH president, ADRK, VDH president, uh, Dr. Peter Frederick, right? Mm -hmm. He was V2. The only thing, the only way he wasn't first, and it was a very strong uh, class. The only reason why he wasn't first, because the, the the friend of mine who was running him, he had never met him. So he just kept looking at the guy, uh, and then he couldn't move properly. The dog should move properly, right? right. With him, uh, for my likeness, he's a tiny bit longer body. Yeah. That's just, I'm not gonna, uh, he's, he's the best dog. He has been the best producer so far in our program. Right? So when he shoots the club up, Blue Magic, that's the brand name. I stand behind it, I guarantee it. People know that, that's Blue Magic right there. Yeah. He's shooting so, the blue, he got the Blue Magic. Yeah, people. so this guy, see how, he knows how to stand. He knows how to stack. He, he's got the head, he's got the dark eyes, dark pigmentation, nice big ears, correctly carried ears. Nice shoulders, big shoulders. Yeah. He's a big male. A big old boy, he's buddy. a big male. He 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 just passed BST this year, uh, and he is about little over 66 centimeter tall. So, so you you use that foreign stuff, man. You know in yeah. America we use inches, man. Oh yeah, well we do. F we follow FCI. <laughs> FCI. So 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 that. But he's a big boy. So anyways, back to the the, the question, so viewers can understand. To better him. I want a female that has a compact body to breed Gonzo with. Perfect example of our last breeding that we're doing again in January with our with our female nanny. So that's the female we're breeding with her. She with him. She is extremely clean because you can see as Gonzo he has he has a slight loose lip. Not right now. You can't see it, but when he closes it you can see slight loose lip right here. So how can I fix it? When you go see Nanny, she's the cleanest girl around. <laughs> she's tight lips, extremely clean face, very nice cheekbone. Yeah. And that's why uh, I, 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 I've used her with him in uh, like, like early this year. Dude, we hit up home run. We hit, he, we, we hit big. You have to name one of the next Rottweilers, Babe Ruth. <laughs> Call him so, babe. So, so, <laughs> so now we're repeating. So that's a perfect example of how to better the dog that already looks badass. Yeah. You know, his temperament is like a freaking child. Yeah. He's, he's goofball. And that's what that's what Rottweiler should be. Now, don't 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 mistake him that he is gonna, gonna be. Say, I thought he was gonna yeah. say don't touch him. No, 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 you can touch him, but don't mistake anything that he's not gonna protect or defend or be a 
guard dog, no. It's like he's happy till he's not. He's happy exactly. till everybody's like, he's like, as long as you good, I'm good. You bad? You know. That's a perfect example of a well-balanced dog. Balanced Rottweiler or dog in general? A well-balanced Rottweiler, I should okay, say. Yeah, dog say. in general, then we go and we open the different window <laughs> that we don't want to go into. But you go leaking, boy. You gotta watch him, man. He's a shooter. He's going to shoot, and he didn't miss my toe. I'm gonna tell you that right now, brother. Hit me right on them last three. <laughs> I'm about to wash my shoes and dip them in bleach yeah. when I get back. Now, guys, we talked about males before, and I'm a big firm believer in females. I honestly, don't always know what the males contribute, um, and. I don't know if we have the metrics for that completely just yet. What I do know is when it comes to pigs and horses, they know what them genetics yield every time yeah. because the business is like this. Yeah. Bowman, as uh, good when Antonio Brown was actually insane, when he said Bowman, Bowman was a thing. In this case, the dog looks great. You know, I'm just, I'm a, I'm a naked eye. Naked mean I have no clue. Like you gave me something, I'm like, oh man, that looks good. His eye goes, ah, I gotta fix all this. I don't see what he sees, but I understand that he understands the dog could be better. Yeah, and that's the beauty. Hundred percent, hundred percent. That's what. That's what. I'm not. I'm not. I'm proud to say, but I'm not kennel blind. I know. I know what my dogs uh, need to work on, uh, and as a breeding program wise, and that's why we don't breed just any dogs. Our breedings are planned at least one year in, in advance, at least at the minimum, uh, and that's why our puppies are pretty much. 90% of the time they're sold before even they hit the ground. There you uh, go. So, so that's that's why, uh, like what you just said, that you're not seeing what I'm seeing. Yeah, because I wouldn't even know how to judge a rock Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have no yeah, clue. Yeah, yeah, no yeah, 100%. Clue. Now, I do have a dog that, so we have his temperament, and then we have Hugo, right? Now, Hugo, if Hugo was here, I'd be putting him on, on leash. Super strong guy, powerful, but what he's going to do, he's a rough player. He plays rough. He's gonna knock that camera out, this camera out, and he's gonna try to knock us out so we can be on his level and he can play with us. That's how mm. Hugo is. So I gotta I gotta breed him with calmer female. <laughs> I gotta breed him with this temperament. Guess what? Stella is this temperament. Chill. Stella is pregnant with Hugo's pups that so, are due so, in three weeks. So that's that sounds like magic in the making. Yes, 100%. 100%. Patience, which is a virtue. Mm -hmm. Consistency in his vision and execution, because if it's God's will, sure. they they will they will be on the ground. What two or three weeks? Yeah, end of October. Yeah, three weeks. There you go. Have it in two or three weeks, people. Kennel blindness is a thing. You got questions about Rottweilers? I told you before. Reach out to TRK. Definitely pay very close attention to the growth and development of your dogs. Some people get so caught up on what they want the dog to be versus what it is that you stop seeing how to actually better your vision and. Maybe you didn't have a vision, which is why you've been so confused and can't figure out why you can't get it right. Mm -hmm. I told you for those that have watched, Eagle only ever had two breedings. I know I needed to better the dog, but I, I kept the one that I believe was going to make the biggest difference, and he did. Thank you to all you. In this case, you go. this is one of your starters? This is Gonzo. Oh, Gonzo. See yeah. what I'm saying? Too many. He got too yeah. many dogs. Yeah. He <laughs> got, got too three, many. Yeah, three studs, eight bitches. Man, that's a good number. Those are our breeding program. Now we got two pets too. Those are right, 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 right. You got a house for the dogs, but <laughs> hey, who am I to judge? I got a. These niggas all over my house. Guys, take care of your dogs. <laughs>